Hello. Hello. You're Cesare Rad. Yes. You're currently working at the BRGM based in Paris, France. Yes, okay. correct. Um, can you please tell us about uh, where you come from and what is your educational background? Yes, uh, I'm from France. Um, I did my uh, undergraduate uh, studies on uh, surface geology and I did continue doing my master's degree in geochemistry, uh, applied to reverse uh, chemistry. And then I continue on doing my PhD on the same subject uh, by using isotopes and developing isotope tools such as uh, U series, uranium series. And after that, I did a first postdoc and a second postdoc. Uh, on geochemistry and isotope geochemistry again. Okay, I see. Um, so how did you become interested in geochemistry in the first place? Uh, the first place, honestly, I had wonderful teachers during my <laughs> studies when I was a student during uh, my undergr undergraduate uh, studies. Uh, they were very passionate and they motivate my, uh, my choice to do oh. geochemistry because uh, it was uh, geochemistry, but uh, uh, combined with uh, observation uh, on the field. And it's exactly what I was looking for uh, to do both. Not only be uh, using geochemistry as a tool in the lab or as a, just, just a chemist, but uh, to be able to, to find a link between field uh, area and lab uh, development. Oh, that's great. Um, so you're currently working at the BRGM. Can you tell us a little bit about this institution? Yes, of course. Uh, it's the French National Geological Survey. We're working on uh, several topics, uh, such as uh, geology, um, mine resources, water. Uh, we're in charge of uh, several um, um, uh, subjects, such as uh, helping the public policy for development, uh, and we also do lots of uh, research, of course. It's uh, our, our first uh, aim to do uh, public research. Okay, okay. So you mentioned you were the IPGP before that. Yes. How yes. did you find your current position at the BRGM? I did, uh, as I said just before, I did a postdoc here, Yes. Uh, one year postdoc, and then my uh, uh, my position remained a uh, permanent position after that. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand. <laughs> and what are you specifically working on at the moment? At the moment, right now, I still continue working on my PhD subject, which was on uh, laser antis rivers. Uh -huh. So I continue uh, some of the publications still from my PhD, and I continue to to work on that field. Also, I work on the um, subject I'm, I started to develop during my postdoc here on silicon, uh, silicon isotopes, okay. which was completely different from what I did during my PhD, which, which was more about uranium series. And uh, very recently, I'm working on um, lithium isotopes also that was developed here um, in, in Belgium. Okay. So, looking back at your career now, which is already quite impressive, <laughs> what is the most useful advice you've ever received? For the, the, the most useful one was one actually given, given from my um, uh, PhD advisor, who was Claude Alec. He told me once uh, that uh, when you have to write an article, when you article, one idea, one article. And okay. this advice, I, I still use it every day. Like each time I want to write something, I have lots of ideas and I said, no, stop. One idea, one article. And it's the same for the presentation, for any con conferences or anything. It, it makes you um, going straight to the point and be more simple. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good advice. Yes. <laughs> And what advice would you have now to give to other PhD students or postdocs? For me, the most important thing for science is the curiosity, mm -hmm. is to be open mind and passionate by your subject. I know that while I was in, doing my PhD, sometimes 
Uh, I was a little bit, you know, you, you, you don't know if you, what you're doing is right or wrong. You're not sure all the time. But if you love your subject, any, 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 anything can happen. You still, uh, you still want to know and you still want to follow what you're looking, what you're searching for. Okay. And to me, it's, it's the main point, to be passionate. Okay, well, thank you. Um, so finally, what is next for you? Where do you see yourself going now? Um, I will probably, I, um, I'm uh, in, in the structure I'm working in. I'm um, a project manager for several projects, uh, including projects that are not in geochemistry, actually, okay. because um, it's just a managing project, you know, in, uh, it's in airborne geophysics. So I will follow this. And uh, I think uh, I will continue to do research in geochemistry as I previously did. And uh, in a couple of years, I, uh, I, I would like to, be, uh, lead, to lead a research team mm -hmm. in this structure to okay. be a, a head of um, a team. Yes. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, Cetere, and thank all you. the best to you in your career. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.